Hi everybody! My name is Miss Edzy at kung bago ka sa channel na ito, ilike mo na at isubscribe. So, sa video na ito ay makikita ninyo ang aking first classroom observation. So, nandyan ang lesson plans and some of the pictures taken from my observation. So, enjoy and happy watching! So, ito ang aking ginamit na lesson plan for my COT. So, nakalagay dyan ang mga objectives, yung content standard, performance standard, at saka yung learning competencies. So, dyan po sa learning competencies, I have three objectives there. So, for the psychomotor, for the knowledge, at saka yung sa psychomotor skills. And then, sa content, ang aking lesson dyan ay enumeration of the technique and separating mixtures. So, these are the procedures in my lesson plan. So, sa aming division, the division of Mandaluyong ay meron kaming tinatawag na 7 is sa sign. So, yun ang ginagamit namin. So, we have the first one is the illicit. It means we have to review the previous lesson. So, ayan ang aking review for them. The giving examples of the solution, the suspension, and the colloids. So, yung mga bata ay... Susulat ang mga sagot nila sa bawat hanay. So, for the next step ay tinatawag naming engage. So, this is establishing a purpose for the lesson. So, parang ito yung presentation natin. And then, the engage, presenting examples or instances of the new lesson. So, ito na yung motivation na tinatawag. So, ang motivation ko dyan ay nag-show ako ng picture. Ayan ang picture niya. Tapos... Pinag-usapan namin at tungkol sa picture na yan. And nakalagay dyan yung limang pag-aaralan namin ng separating mixtures. Yung decantation, evaporation, filtration, sieving, and using of magnet. So dito ay nag-present ako sa PowerPoint presentation ng mga pictures ng mga process of separating mixtures na yan. And then we have the explore. So, dito sa explore ay ito yung group activity ng mga bata. So, before sila gagawa ng activity, kailangan iset mo muna yung rules kung ano mga dapat nilang tandaan habang sila ay nag-grouping. At i-present na rin sa PowerPoint presentation ang rubrics na kanilang uh, sasagutan or lalagyan ng score after the activity. So, ito ang aking mga activities for the group. So, nandyan group 1. Read a text about decanting, decantation, giving examples of decanting process. So, yung sa group 2 naman, video viewing. So, binigay ko sa kanila yung aking cellphone at pinanood ko ang video about evaporation. And then, sa group 3, show how filtration takes place. So, dyan ay nag-drawing ang mga bata about filtration process. And for the group 4, giving examples of how magnet works in separating substances. For the group 5, sieve the flour and the stones. Describe how sieving separate the mixtures. Explain why is it important to sieve. And after the activity, so mag explain na sila, magpapresent sila ng kanilang ginawa. Okay, so after the presentation, so bibigay mo na yung rubrics nila at lalagyan din nila ng score. So ito ang aking rubrics na ginamit. So, may mga criteria ko dyan. So, nakalagay everyone in the groups participated in the activity. So, kailangan 3 points dyan. Made a clean and order graphic organizer or chart. 3 points then Follow the directions and rules of the activity. Uh, discuss the activity with a soft voice. Got all the correct answers. If not, give 2 points. So, in total, we have 15 points. Itong rubrics na to ay printed ko yan sa bun paper and then nilagay sa matigas na karton at nilagay ng plastic para kapag ikaw ay nag-grouping yun na ang gagamitin mo so ilalagay na lang nila sa whiteboard at doon sila maglalagay ng score so dito sa elaborate ay finding practical application of concepts and skills in daily living so dito na papasok yung application mo sa real life situation so Diyan na lalabas ang HATS, yung Higher Order Thinking Skills, and then yung uh, integration mo sa ibang subject. So, dito ang integration ko ay ano, yung AP, yung mga community helpers natin. So, yung mga sewers or yung mga mananahi. 
gumagamit sila ng magnet, talimbawa, kapag nahulog yung magnet, anong gagamitin nila para madali nilang mahanap yung needles. And then, sa isang elaborate, making generalization. So, dito na papasok ang generalization mo. So, this one, sa elab elaborate generalization, ay ipapainumerate mo na sa kanila ang mga techniques na itinuro mo. Here in the generalization, I use the whole brain teaching approach. So, yung mga hindi pa napapanood yung whole brain teaching approach, panoorin nyo ang aking video about that. Sobrang nag enjoy ang mga bata kapag ginagamit ang whole brain teaching, lalo na sa pag-generalize. And finally, uh, yung evaluation. So, ang evaluation ko dyan, which among the words below enumerates the techniques in separating mixtures. Choose the letters and write them on your paper. So, ito po ang mga larawan na kinuha during my COT ngayong first quarter. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.